Today we're going to be making a tensegrity structure. How do you think it works? So let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Oh, he's trying to get in the way of today's make. Someone's got to stop him. You'll need some scissors, some skewers, some string, a ruler, some glue, a pen, some colored paper, some tape, and some reused cardboard. Starting with some paper, we're going to fold it in half and then fold the corner down to make a triangle shape like this, cutting the end off. When we unfold it, we have a square shape. Next, taking our ruler, we're going to divide our piece of paper into five sections. Mine is 15 centimeters long, so each section will be three centimeters on our ruler. We're going to do the same thing along this side. And then using our ruler, we're going to mark some lines like this until we have a grid shape. I'm going to cut this bit out of the middle. And then this bit out of our smaller piece. Now we can use these as a guide to cut out all the pieces we need. Look, there he is again. Robots assemble. Grabbing our cardboard, I'm going to cut them out using the guides, as well as a couple of these smaller pieces for later. Next, I'll use my pen to mark out these four corners, as well as one portion of our L shape, and use our skewer to poke through these holes. Be careful when you're doing this. You might want to ask a grown-up to help you. I'm going to mark out the middle and using the glue, stick our L-shaped piece on like this. It may take a little while to dry. Just be sure to hold it in place until it does. You can also use these smaller tabs to secure it and keep it upright. Hmm, he's disappeared again. Do you guys see him anywhere? You're going to need two of these. Once we have our two halves, we can start adding our string. First though, we'll need to stand this up using a skewer to keep it in place. Take your string and wrap some tape around the tip. This will mean we can thread it through our holes. I'm just going to cut this off, tie a knot in this end, and pull it tight from the other side. Now I'm going to tie the knot on the other end and do the same thing through all of the holes we've made so far. Hey, he's right over there. Quick! Careful guys, don't let him get away this time. You got him! Great job, everyone. Oh, that's right. We need one last piece. It's got to go right through the middle. Once it's threaded through, tie a knot on both sides so that it all stays in place. Now we can test our structure out. Look at that! It stands up on its own. It creates the illusion that it's defying gravity and floating in the air without support. This is because the structure and the string are both under continuous tension. Notice how if I move it down like this, it doesn't stand up anymore. But when I flip it back up and press down on these corners, it stays up. The top, middle, and bottom sections of the structure are all pulling against each other equally, which balances it all out and keeps it in place. Excellent work, everyone. Another successful experiment. Did you learn something new today?